So welcome to the class today. I hope you had a good weekend. <clears throat> so let's just get started and let's begin class actually just sitting down for a few few seconds here. You can sit cross-legged or in a chair, whatever you're comfortable doing. I'm just going to take a minute. A minute to center in here and get connected with the breath. You may close your eyes or look down toward your lap, whatever you're more comfortable doing. Just relax the shoulders. And take a moment here. We may want to consider the energies this weekend of the sun and the moon that are aligning. Maybe representing the idea of balance between that radiant energetic force of the sun and the reflective contemplative energy of the moon. And just how beautiful, nurturing it can be when these two energies are in balance in the body and in the mind. Well, we can take a moment to think about bringing that balance here to our practice today. And as well as in our lives, as we are witness to things that go on around us that may seem chaotic, difficult, frustrating. And we can handle them from a place of groundedness and centeredness and balance. So we can safely and effectively take action. Or we can safely and effectively rest and heal. With that intention of balance in mind, please bring your hands to your chest and you can Bow your head toward your heart. And we can just give thanks and sit in gratitude for our inner wisdom here, allowing us to find balance and peace. And then you can release your hands. I think we're going to begin class today actually standing. So let's come to stand uh, in the middle of the mat. And... We'll stand about feet hip width apart here. And just find your Tadasana, rooting the feet into the floor. You can rock back and forth if you like, just to find that center point here of stability where the pelvis is neutral. And there's some strength coming from the earth through the feet, through the legs to the pelvic center, up through the abdomen, along the spine, feeling long and tall. The back of the neck is also long. And you can raise the shoulders up and back and down and rest them along the spine. And release the hands, maybe wiggle the fingers a little bit. Just feel the balance of being stable here, strong as well as relaxed. Good. Let's bring the hands up on an inhale, bring arms up parallel to the floor, inhale up, and exhale down. See if you can really feel the energy coming as you inhale up from the floor, up through the body. And as you exhale down back toward the floor. So your hands may actually feel this energetic movement as well. Almost as if we're drawing air up with the arms and the fingers and then gently pushing it back down. So let's breathe this way for a few more breaths. Move at your own breath pace. 
And we're just moving the body to align with the pattern of the breath. Let's see if we can cultivate smoothness and evenness here with the breath. And on the next inhale, go ahead and come up onto the balls of the feet as you elevate here. And then exhale back down slowly to the heels to the floor. So if you can really extend that movement of coming back down to the floor, your heels in line with your arms. So it's almost like being in constant movement here. There are no pauses. We're honoring the breath by moving with the continuous breath. Seamless breath and seamless movement. And feel that energy moving through the body. Just take a few more breaths here. See if you can get large and big and expand in your inhale and then relax and release on the exhale. The last one we do, inhale up, arms up, elevate, get big, take up space. Then on the exhale, come down and bend the knees. Bring the arms down. And then come back to your Tadasana. Just take a moment to feel the movement of the energy that's been flowing through the body here in this movement. And find your breath. Good, now let's bring the legs a little bit wider. We're just gonna begin by moving the hips around. And we're gonna move it around an axis. So we're just moving around a central axis here. If you'd like to bend the knees, you can, whatever's comfortable for you. Just opening the hips, introducing the idea that we'll be moving to the body. I feel some cracking and popping happening here. <laughs> Awakening. And we can reverse. And breathe here. So breathe at your own pace, your own rhythm. And move around the central axis. And just a few more breaths, maybe one or two more times around the world. <laughs> and then bring it back to your center. Good, good. Let's come to the top of the mat and begin uh, doing just a fun salutation. We'll do a few of these to further warm up the body a little bit more. So feet are at hip width apart here, top of the mat. Inhale the arms up overhead, look up. Exhale, forward fold to flat back. Continue all the way down, bring the hands to the floor and bend the knees. We're gonna come up to a half. Flat back with the fingertips on the floor, breathe here. Take a few breaths here, feel the hamstrings releasing. Exhale back down into forward fold, let the head fall. And bend the knees, placing the hands on the mat. You can take the left foot back to a low lunge. Feel some lengthening in the spine here. Breathe. And now tuck the toes and bring the right foot back into plank. And breathe here. Feel the abdominals working, drawing the belly button in toward the spine here. So here we're gonna bring the knees to the mat, the chest to the mat and the chin, allow the buttocks to remain high. And then inchworm yourself forward for the whole body to be flat on the floor. And breathe. On the next inhale, gently pull the chest off the floor. Arch the upper back and gaze toward the floor and forward. And release back down to the floor. Tucking the toes, we come into all fours here. 
And we'll prepare for downward dog by rooting into the floor with the toes, bring the hips up toward the ceiling and move into your first downward dog. Go ahead and make this deliciously you. <laughs> move around as you need to, move side to side or pedal the feet, whatever feels luxurious here. And you're rooting the fingertips into the mat, pushing actively away from the floor with the fingertips and the palms. See if you can find some space in the L in the uh, shoulder area and the armpit area. Making yourself long from fingertip all the way to the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Good. And if you'd like to, you can just bring the left foot forward. You can bend the knee, bring the knee into the chest and bring that foot forward. And if it doesn't go all the way, just make an adjustment. Just find your low lunge. Breathe here. And tuck the back toes and step forward. Back into our forward fold. Bend the knees and micro, just micro bend and hang. Allow the neck to hang. And release by nodding yes and no, yes. And then inhale, half forward fold and come up onto the fingertips, allow the back to be flat, gazing down toward the floor, breathe here. And micro bending the knees, bring the arms out to the side parallel to the floor. And then slowly come up with a flat back, arms overhead to Udvrasthasana, take a look up, and release down and bring the hands to the heart. Just take a moment, feel the pulsation in that movement in your body. Check in and see if there are any areas of tension or any areas of warmth, buzzing, awareness, awakening. And then release the arms down to your sides. And we'll just move through that again. So inhale, arms overhead, look up. Exhale, flat back. Bend the knees down to forward fold. Release the neck. Step the right foot back. Actually, before we do that, come to half forward bend. So fingertips to the floor. The back is flat. Gaze toward the floor. And now surrender and sink back into forward fold. Put the hands on the floor, bend the knees, bring the right foot back to low lunge. And find your low lunge. Breathe here. Tuck the back toes and come to plank. Feel the abdominal strength in the pelvic center, bringing the belly button toward the spine. Lower the knees to the mat, then chest, then chin. Inchworming forward, bring the whole body to the floor. Inhale, peel the chest up. Gaze toward the floor, long back neck, and back down to the mat. Tucking the toes, we come to all fours and move through up the downward dog, bring the hips toward the ceiling and breathe here. Again, find your comfortable downward dog. Move, breathe, or just find your stillness here. And you can feel free to micro bend the knees here as you pedal the feet or find stillness. Release the neck. And we're going to step the right foot forward so we can extend the back, like right leg back if we like, bring the knee in toward the chest. 
and step forward. Come down to low lunge, find your low lunge. Find some length in the spine here if you can, breathe. And tuck the back toes under, prepare to step forward into forward fold. Micro bend the knees and release the neck. And breathe. And we'll come forward to half forward fold, bring the fingertips to the floor. The back is flat, the gaze is toward the floor. And surrender back down to forward fold here. Bending the knees, bring the hands up and the arms parallel to the floor, continue all the way up. Inhale, arms up overhead. Look up and release the hands back down into prayer position toward the heart. Good. So we'll do another round of that. We're warming here. So inhale, arms up overhead. Look up. Forward fold. All the way down. Release the neck. Half fold, fingertips forward to the floor. Long back. Surrender back down to forward fold. Bend the knees. Step the left foot back into low lunge. Find your low lunge here. Tuck the toes, bring the right leg back into plank. Engage the abdominals. If you'd like, you can lower down to using chaturanga all the way down or bring your knees to the floor to come down to the belly. On the next inhale, gently peel the chest off the floor, gazing down and forward. And surrender back down to the floor. Tuck the toes, come back to all fours. Bring the hips up to your downward dog. And breathe here. And breathe through the belly, allow the belly to really expand and contract here as you breathe. Release the neck. Feel the body beginning to warm here. And we bring the left foot now up. We can stretch a little bit and wiggle the ankle a little bit. Bring the knee in toward the chest and step forward. Find your low lunge. And breathe here. Tuck the back toes and we begin to step forward. Step forward into forward fold. And micro bending the knees, allow yourself to just fold a little bit deeper here. Exhale into the forward fold. Inhale to half fold, fingertips to the floor, long back, gazing down. And exhale, surrender right back down to forward fold, bend the knees. As we come up, bring the arms up. Inhale, arms up overhead. Look up. And bring the hands right back down to the chest. Good. We'll just do one more and move to the moon phase. Inhale, arms overhead. Look up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the mat or your shins. Inhale up, half fold, fingertips to the floor, gazing down. Exhale, bring the right foot back, bend the knees. Back to low lunge, find your low lunge. Bring the left foot back to plank. Engage the abdominals and breathe here. Lower down using chaturanga or put your knees to the floor, belly and then chin, find the floor. On the next inhale, gently peel the chest off the floor, gaze forward and down, arch the upper back. Exhale back down. Tuck the toes, come to all fours, 
Bring the hips back up to the ceiling into downward dog. Breathe here. Allow the belly to expand and contract. Relax the neck. We can lift the right leg here. Have a little stretch. Bring the right knee into the chest and step forward. Find your low lunge. And tuck the back toes. Begin to step forward into your forward fold. Release the neck. Breathe here. Inhale up to half fold, fingertips to the floor. Long back, long neck. Exhale back down, surrender to forward fold. Bend the knees deeply. Bring the arms out to the side. Keep the knees bent here. And see if you can bring the arms up toward the ceiling. We're gonna sit in chair pose for a moment. So here we're energetically focused on grounding down. The feet are pressing away from one another and into the floor. The thighs are engaged. Glutes are engaged. The abdominals are engaged here. Energetically, we're reaching toward the ceiling with the upper part of the body, but we're rooted down into the ground with the lower part. And exhale, stand and release the arms down. <laughs> Bring the hands to the heart and just breathe here. We've awakened the body. <laughs> so notice how that feels in your own self, in your own body. How does the breath change? And where do you feel the energy in the body most? Where do you not feel much change? And release the hands down towards your side and rest for a moment. We'll move into the moon phase of the practice. <clears throat> so we'll come to the top of the mat again, this time facing forward. So we'll be moving sideways here for the moon phase, mostly because when we move forward and backward, we move with intention and energy that is driving us to be someplace. We're driving ourselves forward typically. So when we move sideways, we really have to slow down, consider where we're going and take it a little more easy. So we'll bring the feet to hips width apart once again and bring your right arm up and toward the ceiling. Really extend toward the ceiling, allow the left arm to just come down and be rooted and grounded toward the floor. Inhale. Exhale gently, side bend with the upper body. Come this over as much as you're comfortable moving. And inhale back up, bring the arm back down to your side. We're gonna step wide now into the middle of the mat and turn the feet out as you're comfortable here. We're gonna come down into a goddess pose. So bring the knees down over the toes. See if you can press the knees back a little bit toward the back of the room. Opening as wide as you can in the thigh, inner thigh area. I feel that all toes are grounded against the mat here. You can bring the arms up into goddess arms and just breathe here. Notice the abdominals are working to keep you upright. Belly button is moving toward the spine. The thighs are working, the hamstrings are helping to support you here. And inhale, rise up, arms up overhead. Exhale, release down. Good. Bring the hands to the, to the waist or the hips. And bring your right foot forward so that your toes are facing the front of the mat. Allow the left toes to come toward the back of the mat. We're just gonna move into triangle pose from here. Bring the arms up parallel to the floor. See if you can shift the rib cage forward first toward the left foot before we move down, shift that rib cage forward and then 
start to make your descent. You can rest your hand on your knee, or you can bring it down toward the shin, wherever your body is comfortable bending here. But keep the chest open here. And see if you can find stability and comfort in this position. You can also bend the knee here. If you'd like to stay up here and bend the knee, that's perfectly beautiful. So do whatever your body is asking you to do to stay safe and protect the lower back here. Engage the abdominals and stay open. From here, you can bend the front knee, come down to a low lunge. Bring the knee to the floor. Bring the hands up to the knees. And find some release here in the left front thigh area. And you're welcome to bring your arms up overhead. Inhale up. And exhale, release down. Good. We're gonna tuck the toes and come back up to forward fold here. You can place both hands on the floor or you can place one on the shin or wherever you're comfortable here. You might wanna ground the back foot by placing the heel on the floor as well. And breathe here. Good. And now just walk the hands around. We're gonna come back to a wide-legged forward fold. Just walk the hands around to center. Release the neck and head. Allow yourself to dangle here. If you have blocks, and this is a comfortable place for you to place your blocks under your hands, feel free to use them. And breathe. And we continue to walk the hands now to the other side. And now allow that right foot to turn so that the toes are facing the top of the mat. And the back foot is perpendicular. So the back toes are facing the side of the mat as well. And find a stretch here. You can micro bend the knee if this is too much. This is often too much here for the hamstring to allow. So go ahead and bend the knee. And release the neck. And then we can pivot the back foot, come onto the balls of the feet, bend the front toes or bend the front knee and bring the knee down to the floor into low lunge. And bring both hands up to the knees. Find stability here. We can inhale the arms overhead. Exhale down, placing the hands on the mat and tucking the toes. We can come back around to our wide-legged forward fold. The feet are parallel here. And again, take a moment to just release the neck and the head. And breathe. From here, we can bend the left knee and come down to a side lunge. Come back to the middle center, walk the hands over to the other side and bend the left knee or the right knee. We can move through this just back and forth, gently moving from side to side. You can move through this at your own pace. See if you can breathe and move seamlessly. You may wanna to inhale to center. Exhale down. Inhale to center. And exhale down. As you're moving through here and walking the hands back and forth, find your rhythm.
Let's just do this one more time. The next time you're in the center, go ahead and walk the feet toward one another just a little bit more. And then micro bend the knees and roll up very slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Take your time to come up. Good. Bring the shoulders up and back and release them down, the shoulder blades down toward the spine, along the spine. And bring the feet together. Good. So we'll begin now with our Shavasana and our cool down. So let's move down to the mat now. Let's come into child's pose for a moment and just assimilate the movement that we've just done. So feel free to come down. You can bring the knees open wide toward the sides of the mat if that's helpful to you. And then just walk the hands down. Place the forehead on the floor. Maybe stretch your fingertips out as far away from the body as you can, just walking your fingertips. And then release that. Allow the body to sink back into itself. And just rest here. Check in with the body and see where tension may still be gripping, where you can release that tension. And when you're ready, walk the hands back toward the knees. What I would like to do is take the blocks. If you have your two blocks with you, you can go ahead and place one block. Uh, just we're going to make a T shape. It's going to look like this on the floor. And actually, what we'll do is turn the so the block that's uh, on top here. We'll make that be the tall block. So it'll be sideways, but on the tall setting. And then the other block will be just flat on the floor. Okay, so really they look like this on the floor. Mm -hmm. So place those blocks. What we're going to do is we're going to lay on the blocks just to open the chest a little bit here. So you may have to play with the distance and what's comfortable, but the head will ultimately be resting on the high block. Okay, so as we find this, we'll notice that the back kind of gently arches over the first block. And the head rests gently on the second block. We're able to just release down, let the legs come long to the floor. And so the block will be just placed between the shoulder blades. This may be very comfortable for some of you. It's very comfortable. Uh, if it's not very comfortable, you can grab a blanket and just place it right on top of the block on the floor between the shoulder blades. If it's too, you know, the edges of the block are too much for you. But we're going to stay here for just a few moments. So allow your arms to come a few inches away from the body, as far away from the body as you're comfortable. Palms are up toward the ceiling. And the ankles are toward the corners of the mat, as, as, as whatever's comfortable for you. And just find your sweet spot here with where the block should be aiming for the middle of the shoulder blades on the wide setting and then under the back of the head. So the head is a bit elevated. And breathe here. And this is the heart opening. Asana. If you have any kind of lower back pain or soreness, you can always bring the knees up toward the ceiling and keep the feet planted on the floor. Just make adjustments as you need to here.
Well, in this position, just notice how you feel inside. Notice what emotions may be coming up here. For example, some of us may be feeling joy to be in this position, to be opening the heart, opening the body. And some of us may be feeling vulnerable here. But just know that you are safe and you're right where you need to be. And if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can roll over onto your side into fetal position and rest there. Allow the belly to breathe. Feel the softness as you inhale and the belly expands, contracting as you exhale. And we can invite a smooth and even breath here. Quiet breath, continuous breath, with no gaps between inhale and exhale. If you'd like to, you can bring the soles of the feet together. Allow the knees to open toward the floor. And further open. And again, if this is too uncomfortable, feel free to move into fetal position and just rest on your side. You can stay where we were with the legs down on the floor. If you're ever in this position and you like this as a constructive sort of rest position, you can also place a blanket under each knee or a pillow under each knee here. And you can stay for here for as long as it's comfortable. Sometimes supporting the knees with pillows or blankets just allows you to stay a little bit longer in this position. So breathe here, notice any change in emotion or feeling in the body. Take care of yourself here. We'll just take a few more breaths and then we'll make our way into Shavasana. So if you're ready to move into Shavasana now, feel free to get yourself comfortably placed on the floor with your blankie or your pillows or whatever you need to get comfortable. Or you can just stay here. We can bring the knees together here, gently and slowly, and roll over onto the side here. We can gently roll off of the blocks, then come up to seating. We can move the blocks out of our way and come into your Shavasana. Find the support of the floor. Take your time.
You can find the support of the floor beneath you and sink into that support. Allow the belly to soften. Notice any areas of tension that may, may be lingering that you can invite to release into the floor. We'll move through the body with systematic relaxation, beginning at the crown of the head. Let me take a breath there. And bring your awareness to the middle of the forehead. Into the space between the eyebrows. Release any tension around the face and the jaw around the mouth, the sides of the face, the forehead. Release any tension around the back of the neck. And bring your awareness to the base of the throat. To the tops of the shoulders. To the upper arms and the elbows. to the forearms and the wrists, the palms of the hands and the fingertips. Take a few breaths there at the fingertips. Bring awareness back to the palms and the wrists. And the elbows and the forearms. Breathe into the upper arms and the tops of the shoulders. And bring awareness to the base of the throat. Breathe into the heart center and soften there. Bring awareness to the base of the sternum between the rib cage. Breathe into the pelvic center and soften there. Bring awareness to the knees. the ankles and the soles of the feet. And breathe into the toes. Take a few breaths there. On the next inhale, we'll sweep awareness from the toes up through the pelvic center, the heart center, up to the crown of the head. And we exhale down from the crown through the heart down to the toes. Continue breathing this way from toe to crown, inhaling, and exhaling from crown to toe. Inhaling, feel the energetic nourishment Exhaling, release. As you inhale, notice any temperature change at the nostrils. Perhaps the air is cooling as you inhale and more warming as you exhale. You can let go of that sweeping awareness now and just breathe, focus on the breath and relax.
Check in one more time with the body to release any gripping. And invite the support of the floor and release into that support. Now we begin to bring focus back to the external space around us by wiggling fingers and toes. We may bring the palms together and warm the palms by rubbing them. And then bring your hands to your face, gently opening your eyes into your fingers as we reintegrate into the space around us. Take your time and you may roll over onto one side and take a few breaths there before coming to seated position. And take your time. When you're ready, you can bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes, or look down at your hands as we honor the teacher within. And I hope this practice was just a reminder of how it feels to balance energetic movement, moving the prana through the body, feeling that pulsation, and then relaxing, reflecting, taking a moment to feel all the emotions that are associated with our body, different asanas, knowing that we're safe and loved so we can go out into the world to accomplish what we need to do from a place of centeredness and groundedness and love. So I'll end with just a small chant. Asatoma Sargamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Thank you. Peace, peace, peace.